Right on. That was Lilies with Who I'm Meant to Be. Now, that was very powerful. I get yet again another very, very strong female vocalist. And it's so good to hear because it was a mix, a good mix of 80s and alternative. Because you can tell with some of the pitches at the very end of the song, kind of closer to the bridge, that, you know, it was really kind of screaming that the 80s kind of like, wow! <laughs> if, if that makes sense to you guys, you know, like, obviously I didn't do it justice. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, giddy up to that, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, they, 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 they call themselves the five-headed rock and roll animal, ready to set the scene on fire. Well, wow, I think that did. <laughs> I think they're, you know, loud and proud is very much their style, and yeah, totally rock and cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, amazing power to that vocal and to the band. It's just take no prisoners rock and roll. I loved it. It was excellent. I did, too. I mean, the whole thing, just, I mean, the songwriting, the arrangement, and the performances were great. They're great musicians, and she is astounding. Just such control and such power. Wow. Totally agree. And uh, there was a thing right now, actually, because right now it is... Uh, but I think it's about 1.30 a.m. Sunday morning, uh, Australia time. Oh, wow. So right around there because they're about uh, between 12 to 14 hours ahead. So, oh, right, right. So next up is yet another another Forgotten Beat Discovery. Oh, never. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we really need to get that theme song. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to twist Dave's arm. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, Ghost Trains, and the song is called New York Avenue. Dig this.
Ghost Trains and New York Avenue. Now that was such a, a cool kind of like easy flowing summer tune and the vocals were just fantastic with this one and I really love the way it flowed. I mean it had uh, attained such a good bridge to it and it just such a, a a good composition especially with the background with the you know, the especially uh, kind of adding that the noises of a, a possible street noise of people talking in China sort of thing so they, they did such a good job with it. Yeah, I, lo I love the way you've contrasted that rock and roll, sort of heavy rock and roll with this. And yeah, it reminded me of going to New York, you know, kind of chilling out and sort of, and as it's early morning here, it's like really smooth vocals. And yeah, I really, really like that a lot. Yeah, that was a beautiful tune. Great songwriting, excellent vocals. Um, lots of interesting spices going on in the, in the mix when you put the headphones on lots Ooh, of spices. nice little touches and i was kind of reminded of uh uh the bookends album there were oh, yeah. there were some nice things going on in there excellent yeah it t to me it had a little bit of a 60s vibe in terms of some of the really great vocal duos that they had back then was with chad and jeremy and peter and gordon just those really just a beautiful song beautifully written and beautifully performed you know, and a good point. And uh, Dave from Ghost Country just mentioned he sounds like a little bit like uh, Michael Stipe from REM to him. Oh yeah, yeah. And you know what? I can totally see that absolutely. So good, uh, good point, Dave. So next up, we're gonna get to a new one by Danny Petroni. This is part of the Blues Project, and this one's called Bradley's Cove. Like this. I hear they're trying to build condos on Bradley's Cove. The first place you smiled at me and grabbed my soul. You didn't have to say a word, I could read your eyes I tried to remember your face for a while Untold stories, sad whispering eyes Open sky and closed rooms Elegant flowers and clothes And the quiet skies lie like quiet tracks fades away. The spirit never dies. Gently rolling with the clouds. That was Danny Petroni with a Blue Project, and that was Bradley's Cove. Now, we talked to Danny. We had an interview with him, and he was a great guy, and his music is so good. I mean, he's been in the business for a long time, but you can really tell you the heavy blues influence and such a good job. I could really dig this song. Oh, I, I, you know, we've heard quite a few from him now, and, yeah, he's, he's a very clever songwriter, and I just love, you know, his blend of blues and the, the sort of, drums and you know the brushing and the oh just the whole thing really really good atmospheric track absolutely there that had a nice groove to it a nice flow to it uh as you point out me the the drums that he was using brushes on there that 
that's a nice thing. You don't hear that very often anymore. Um, nice guitar work. It was a good tune. Yeah, really nice guitar work, and I really liked just the counterpoint between the guitar and the vocals. It just they just complemented each other so well. Beautiful tune. Well, next up, we're going to kind of jump to a different end of the spectrum, and this is a friend of yours. This is uh, Vanilla Wafa. 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 Wait, Wafa. Sorry, my mistake. So, <laughs> so it's called Slip and Slide. Dig this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 